Welcome back, legends. Today we're looking at something that's often overlooked, but absolutely essential to understanding how cannabis plants really work. While most people focus on buds, the real story starts somewhere else entirely. In this video, we're breaking down why leaves matter more than buds, how they power growth, manage stress, and quietly determine the final outcome long before flowers ever appear. This is pure plant biology, explained simply. Before we jump in, remember, this channel is for viewers over 18, and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a licence. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. Quick update. We've just launched the Budfellas Telegram community, connecting growers and enthusiasts from around the world. It's legal-focused, all about networking, plant science, and shared experience. Links in the description. Why leaves matter more than buds? Leaves are the true engine of the cannabis plant. While buds are the most visible and talked about part of the plant, leaves are responsible for nearly everything that makes bud development possible. Without healthy, functioning leaves, buds cannot form properly, develop fully, or mature as expected. From a biological perspective, leaves are far more important than flowers. The primary role of leaves is photosynthesis. This process allows the plant to convert light energy into sugars. These sugars are not stored only in the leaves, they are transported throughout the plant to fuel every process, including root growth, stem strength, and bud formation. Buds themselves produce very little energy. They depend almost entirely on the leaves to supply the carbohydrates needed for development. Leaves also regulate gas exchange. Through tiny pores called stomata, leaves absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen and water vapour. This exchange is essential for photosynthesis and temperature regulation. When leaves function efficiently, internal systems remain balanced. When leaf function is compromised, the entire plant feels the effect. Another critical role of leaves is water regulation. Leaves control transpiration, the movement of water from roots to atmosphere. This process creates the pressure that pulls nutrients upward through the plant. Without consistent transpiration driven by leaves, nutrient movement slows and developing tissue receives less support. Leaves also act as environmental sensors. They respond to light intensity, temperature, humidity and airflow. These signals are translated into hormonal messages that influence growth patterns throughout the plant. In this way, leaves are not just energy producers, they are information processors. During stress, leaves are often the first tissue to respond. Changes in posture, colour or texture are protective responses designed to reduce damage. These responses help the plant survive challenging conditions. Buds, by contrast, are protected structures that rely on leaves to absorb the impact of environmental stress. Leaves also play a role in storage. Excess sugars and nutrients are often held temporarily in leaf tissue before being redistributed. This buffering ability helps stabilise growth and prevents sudden shortages elsewhere in the plant. As plants mature, older leaves may gradually fade or drop. This is not failure, it is resource reallocation. The plant moves stored energy from older leaves to newer growth and reproductive structures. This process highlights how leaves actively support bud development even late in the life cycle. Another overlooked role of leaves is thermal regulation. Through transpiration and surface area exposure, leaves help control internal temperature. This regulation protects sensitive tissues, including buds, from heat and environmental extremes. Leaves also influence structural strength. Healthy leaves support steady stem development by maintaining consistent energy flow. Weak leaf function often correlates with weak structure elsewhere. In simple terms, buds are consumers. Leaves are producers. The size, density and overall health of buds are direct reflections of how well the leaves have performed their role over time. Understanding this relationship shifts focus away from chasing bud appearance and toward respecting the biological foundation that makes buds possible. Strong leaves create the conditions for strong flowers. When leaves are understood as the priority rather than an accessory, 
plant behavior becomes easier to interpret. Many so-called bud problems originate earlier in leaf function. In summary, leaves matter more than buds because they power photosynthesis, regulate water and gas exchange, process environmental signals, store energy, manage stress and support every stage of development. Buds are the result leaves are the cause. Thanks for tuning in, legends. If you enjoy calm, science-based explanations of cannabis behavior, stay locked in. This is Budfellas Educational, Evergreen, and always within the guidelines, signing out.